Wait a minute. Can you pull this? Oh my god. Okay, y'all. It's a new day. Oh my. <gasps> this is the best thing ever. What? Hey y'all, welcome back to the Curly Carter YouTube channel. I am Carter. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new around here, I teach you all things luxury investment and how to make your closet into an investment portfolio. So if that is a bit of you, pretty please subscribe and like this video while you're down there because it really helps out a brand new channel like mine. <gasps> today i first of all spent way too much money on this absolutely ridiculous amount of money and the justification is that i am going to literally wear them like every single day because i have another type of the same thing and that type of the thing i wear like all the time right listen listen i have a Chanel pair of shoes that is so hard to get. It is literally impossible to find these in this color. I don't even understand how I found them. I am so grateful because Paul, I will link him here and down below, is my Nordstrom SOA. Love him. And he was like, oh my God, you'll never believe it. But I think I found one of these in stock in another store. I'm going to try to order them in and we'll see if they actually get here. They got here. Okay, let's get into it. Out. Overexcited who? We don't know her. <laughs> Dust bags, of course. Love them. Little return kit. Who thinks they know what it is? Who thinks they know? <laughs> it is the turn lock loafer. You guys know, you know. Black in these, ridiculous, impossible. Nobody bought them at first because they were so stupid expensive and then they became so popular, everybody bought them. And they re-released it one more time and they flew. Now they have them in pink, which I love, but I feel I feel like the black was just, you know, so much more wearable. Black is literally impossible to find, like stupid impossible. Legendary that he found these in black. Also, they do run small, I will say. Chanel always runs small. I got these in a 39. Seriously, he even got my most ideal size. Paul, I literally owe you the name of like my first child or something like pfft. so yeah I got them in a 39 I am a US size seven and a half they're literally they do run that small I will say that they're like more just narrow than anything else let's try them on like I said I do have I'll show you my other ones that I wear literally all the time that they're lambskin though and I really wanted to replace them because those are starting to look quite worn let me get them for you these right here now these are not the ones that I was actually talking about I have these exact pair in black I think they're downstairs but I like, cannot find them for the life of me right now but I own them in the beige as well and as you can see they are lambskin i've worn these ones significantly less like only a few times and you can see the creasing and the toes they are just very delicate because they are the lambskin and the bottom of course is the all leather and you can see the comparison these are not that super soft leather they do have that solid coating on them so i think these are just gonna last me a lot longer for how much i wear loafers let's try them on i'm so excited to try them i think these are going to fit because they're 39 like there's no way they don't right everyone hold their breath for me Let's get into it. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if they fit. Obviously, these are not going to go with these pants. Ignore that part, okay? Listen. Oh my gosh, they really are tight, aren't they? That's crazy. I am literally a US size seven and a half and these just fit me as a 39. That's crazy. I have heard that this is a functional turn -off. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it has a, an elastic here. Wait a minute. Can you pull this? Oh my God. <laughs> that just released all of this tension here. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, look, it even has the ah, Carter shit. Carter, am I okay? It's funny. Chanel hair is like it does on the double flaps. And oh my god, that literally just released so much pressure in the instep. They are a million times more comfortable now. <gasps> Do you see this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Obviously, again, ignore the pants, okay? I don't want to hear it. Look at that. Oh my god. Also, this is your I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> eventually i will clean this room look at that okay let's try on the other one okay here is the difference i want you to see the difference look how much more flattering this one is look look do you see that this is so much more pulled back i'm gonna show you in real time what this looks like i undid this right pulled this back and then you see all this wrinkling this is like extra leather that's just there crunched in between my foot and the top of the shoe i'm gonna do look at that 
Like, shut up. I just pulled it as hard as I could. Like, not, you know, not like crazy hard, but like, and then stop. And look how much more flattering they are. Again, not with the pants, all right? Look at that. Oh my God, these are my new daily wears. I am obsessed in every way with jeans. Stop. All right, let's bring them back to the table. We'll talk about the price. I never want to talk about it again after I tell you <laughs> because they are so overpriced. It's not even funny, but like literally going to wear them all the time. Okay, so I am so, so thankful. I randomly decided to pull on that tab and because it went from literally the most uncomfortable loafer I've ever tried on in my life to so comfortable, absolutely going to be my new daily shoes. Oh my gosh, that made such a big difference. Let me just show you. So you undo this. Let me show you close up, right? You pop it down and then you see how this is like detached my hand can go like all the way inside this right here is like leather that bunches up sort of underneath in between your foot and the top part so when you pull it it just like all lines itself out and it is so much more like comfortable and flattering on the foot i don't know if anybody else has like heard anybody of doing that but like that is what you need to do if you own these shoes do that it's going to change your life i will say though they definitely run small like true to like chanel typical sizing usually i can get away with a 38 or 38 and a half in Chanel as a US size seven and a half. These are a 39 and they just fit me. So take that with what you will for sure. I did hear that they do run a little bit small just because there's so much leather and it's really structured. I will say 39, I rarely do have to go in in Chanel, even in boots and stuff. I still buy 38 and a half. So I'm surprised I'm a 39 in these. I did have a suspicion and that's why when he said he had a 39, I was like, yes, absolutely. Just because again, they're so structured and just me knowing loafers, I felt like these were going to run like small. So grateful that I got these. Oh my God. All right, listen, we're going to talk about the price. All right. These are 1300 and store they're 1500 they're like three one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars with the tax idiotic absolutely ridiculous if i did not wear black loafers so much i would never even consider but i literally will wear these all the time these are like daily shoes for me so i am going to get my cost per wear out of that i would suggest you absolutely not get them in the u.s you should get them in paris if you can because the euro difference will definitely help that situation it is not the best investment value because you're spending a lot of money, you know, peak dollar for something that is going to have wear on it. That being said, because there is a turn lock and because they are so hard to get, I will be able to get that money out of them even used because if they even come out with something similar in the future, they will be more expensive. The turn lock, the working turn lock is a really big deal. So in the sense, shoes are not technically the best investment value, but these have those variations to them that do make them still a really good buy. That's still just a crazy amount of money for a pair of shoes for me, but I mean, like I've spent that on boots before, right? But they're like loafers, like stop. But I love them. I literally love them. Best buy ever. Paul, you absolute legend. Thank you so much for finding me these. I literally love you. Definitely reach out to him. They come in a gorgeous pink, a gray, a beige, and of course the black. So if you're interested in any of those colors, definitely reach out to him because maybe you can get as lucky as I did when he randomly gets a size in or finds one. Again, his Instagram will be linked down below. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Like I said, and watching all the way through it really does help out a brand new channel like mine to watch the videos all the way through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't already, do like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I just made a spot for them in my closet. <gasps> Oh, they look so good. I have a lot of black shoes. I'm realizing that right now. <laughs> but I thought I would christen them in the closet with you. You'll see that black loafers are my most worn shoes. I do have also these in black. I think they're downstairs, like I said. Maybe I'll switch those out and put like a whole black of, like the whole row of black loafers right here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Best buy ever, literally ever.